My name is Amek Ozo and I'll be sharing with you on the real reality. On the reality. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Pastor Badebola of Praise. And I'll also like to appreciate the work that Image Makers World are doing in ensuring the next generation. So I'm here to speak on life issues, basically life issues, and I'm thinking what life issues should I share on. Uh, there's a whole lot of life issues, but I believe uh, since I'll be working on something like that soon, I would like to talk about discipleship, leadership, and um, and the growth of young believers. I, I know that most of the audience might not be Christians, but I will be focusing on the church. And why this is, is because, you see, this is the generation where... We have more youths, especially Christian youths, in most nations, especially in Nigeria. And also, um, I believe the church is supposed to be, that is how we are designed to be the trailblazers, the one leading, the one changing the way things are. Actually, we are, but we are not conscious of the fact that we are. Let me give an example. I, After attending a global leadership summit, a leader said he recommended pastors and commended them because they were the ones who lead people they don't pay and still get these people to get things done you see he said we as worldly leaders we can threaten you with our salaries and don't get things done and uh, you have to get things done because we're threatening you with something you will receive but you guys leading churches you <laughs> these people will have a choice and you're not paying them any dime of course god is paying us all and that is a reward yet you're not paying me any time to force me into doing what but yet you get most of the volunteers and they started to adopt some of the church strategies in the workplace so now they are evolving with the church principle it's sad the church is now going to the place the world is living too sad okay back to what i decided to focus on which is leading young people I've discovered that leading young people in in this generation, like they say, everything rises and John Maxwell actually not the said everything rises and falls on leadership. I've discovered that leading the generation Z, we have we are ill equipped as leaders to do so, and that is a great challenge because you see the generation Z are not as difficult as we tag them to be. They are just a different and unique generation. They are exposed to knowledge which has given them a bit of a bit of liberality they are the civilized um, set of our generation who are enjoying civilization at one of its highest peak and i don't know if this is the highest because there's still more to come but so far so good this is the highest peak of civilization yet this is where democracy is no more just um uh, when I'm talking about democracy, I'm not talking about um, governmental political democracy, but I'm talking about the real terms of democracy, the freedom of the people by the people, a government by the people for the people, and is really experienced on the mental stage. They are the ones you can see it in today's children, so expressive. So we, we literally won't have to tell them to shut up. We literally have to tell them to shut up and yet it's now seen as an insult okay let me give you an example in schools today they, they are not trained the way we are trained these people are giving too much liberality I'm, I'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying they are experiencing this liberality because teachers can't just tell children shut up a teacher told me that is now bad you don't tell a child shut up right you, you don't we don't you don't even flog a child with a cane anymore so all these things have made the leading of this generation set a problem because these are the set of young people that need to be leaders now why is it a problem is because even though they seem to have all the knowledge even though they they seem to have all the knowledge they still lack the the grant the establishment to make this knowledge work for them profitably and the only people that could do that are reluctant and are ill-equipped to teach them the right way um one of the men of god i respect which is my bishop michael has this 
um, progressive mentality yet there is the issue of how many of his leaders are able to transfer this spirit down to the young people what we're seeing at a large scale are young people struggling to be in the place where they are called to grow they are struggling to be groomed they are struggling to be discipled and this is because there is this fear of discipling them there is this fear of um, these people are disobedient i don't understand okay one time a, a, a youth leader said ah, then when you call these people young people they just come out in mass and you need to understand that the young people of then is not the young people of now so if they are different then what is making them different let me give you an example the young people of then physical labor was made glamorous i actually felt a bit disadvantage in that generation because I felt I couldn't do a whole lot of physical labor. So then if you were able to carry heavy lifting, cut grass, you were seen as hardworking, you were seen as having a prosperous future, you were seen as someone who is going to be better in life, hard work is good. But in this generation, they've seen people with hard work suffer financially, suffer financially. And they've seen people with hard work behind the scene that they don't see but who are making it look like it's soft work that they are doing we just do this do this i just sing 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 put recording and put it blown and boom I'm, I'm 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 spending millions i'm driving cars i have access to as many ladies as i want that is a struggle because you see this generation are seeing things different soft skills the educational sector everything is being challenged because they are not producing the results they promised a person in my generation will still be running around for jobs still be running around to look for a security though he has come to a certain knowledge but the person in their generation is like seriously is this what you promised life is this what education will give me when someone is showing me that i can sit at home for three hours and still earn what you earn in a month <clears throat> These are the challenges. Now, when it comes to Christianity, these people are exposed to the knowledge of the world. Like I said, it's not established, it's not grounded, but they are still exposed to this knowledge. Do you understand? They're still exposed to this knowledge. And being exposed to this knowledge is making it difficult for the generation of leadership, used to the leadership of, hey, don't challenge what I know. I'm the leader so i know better no in this generation the leader doesn't know better the leader acts better the leader is kinder the leader is lovable and that is why john maxwell released of course you know the rest of the world is always ahead of some things in nigeria so they've noticed it in their own generation and they released a set of he released a set of leadership books that talked up that changed the laws of leadership and being African, we are used to the mentality that once you have power, you should be in control. But in reality, being a leader in this generation Z is about releasing the control. <laughs> it's hard. It's tough. It's unbelievably annoying. You see, growing up in a generation where you, we are used to yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, it's, it's hard to have a generation where you need to say, you need to cajole them you need to sweeten them up into of course all of us want mature young people that will understand immediately we explain that we take but this is the real challenge we have a set of generation of youths that are amazingly gifted that have a way of making that have a way of changing the world far better ten times better than we are but they lack leaders and it's of course, there is their own role, but that's not the focus. The focus is we as leaders. What are we doing to ensure that we inculcate this generation into to see our leadership, to buy into our leadership? Because now this is a level of a better deal. Show me that you're better. Show me you can make me better. Show me that following you will make me. Because that's the key word of Jesus. Um, of Jesus message follow me and I'll make you and he didn't fail on his promise and of course you have Christ you might have a higher chance of not failing on your promise but you need to understand that the challenge of leading 
in this generation has to do with understanding that this generation is nothing like any generation. They are not used to military type of regimic rulership. They are used to leadership. They are not even used to leadership, but they are not receptive of military regime. And they need to understand, they need to see the new leadership. And for you to be able to make these changes, you need to be ready, you need to be prepared, and you need to desire to say, yes, I want to make a change. Because the truth is, whether you like it or not, if you fail to embrace this generation and lead this generation of young people are right, you'll be left with a generation of adults that will make life miserable. God forbid it, and I forbid it. <laughs> so thank you so much once again, Pastor Debala, for giving me this opportunity. And once again, shout out to Image Makers World for the awesome things you're doing. Thank you all viewers. And um, if you have any questions, any contribution, drop it in the comment section. It will be attended to. Of Calvary, pain for my sins. Ningbongo ano esheo, oba alanu, alaru iyanu. Ningbongo ano esheo, oba alanu. 